Hi, and welcome to this edition of Preservation Workshops, or How to Be Your Own Curator at Home. I'm Sue Taylor, Chief Curator for the New Mexico Museum of Space History, and I'd like to share a little something with you right now. No matter what kind of dust collectors you have, they need pledge. A dust cloth alone can't remove dirt and smudges, but pledge cleans and waxes leaves a protective wax shine that resists spills and spots. For tricky dust collectors, spray Pledge on your dust cloth. Johnson's Pledge, for waxed beauty instantly as you dust, every time you dust, anything you dust. How many of you remember that old commercial? Probably not too many. But since today's topic is Forget Pledge, I thought I'd start with that. Pledge is a good product and very useful around your house, especially on modern things. But if you have old furniture, family heirlooms, or antiques that you have collected, then you don't want to use it. It contains silicone and other solvents that can be harmful to old finishes. Let's see if we can learn a little bit more about what should be used on old things. Let's start with some of the types of furniture that you may have. This is a circa 1920s china cabinet. Many of you may have inherited one from your family. How many of you have a dining room set like this? Maybe not as fancy, but one similar made of oak or mahogany. Go to any antique mall and you may find a vanity like this Art Deco waterfall inlay one. Someone out there may have just recently purchased one. Note not only the beautiful wood finish, but see the brasses on the drawer pulls. A little more on how to take care of these later. Perhaps some of you have furniture from your college days or parents dating to the 1950s or 60s that you have lived with for years. Are they antique? They are now. The chair back and front of the console have a beautiful wood finish. When you use waxes or polishes containing silicone, over time they will damage those original beautiful finishes. This is a picture of what you would see after either polishing or applying a new finish. These small crater-like indentations called fish eyes will appear on the surface. You will also sometimes see a bloom of opaque white that will appear on your furniture that will not fade. If this happens to you, do not try to remove this yourself. Call in a furniture expert or conservator. Remember that the best way to take care of your furniture is to dust regularly using a soft cloth, feather duster, or microfiber duster. Usually waxing should only be done every one to four years or so. You don't want to destroy the patina, which is very important and needs to be nurtured. Waxing is not a substitute for cleaning. We will touch on that later. Minwax is a product that does not contain silicone and will not leave an oily residue. Another good wax to consider is Antiquax. All good waxes like this will contain the ingredients carnauba, beeswax, synthetic waxes, a carrier solution, usually paraffin, and solvents like mineral spirits and turpentine. When applying the wax, do it sparingly. Spread it in a thin, even coat and rub evenly and gently to bring up a high polish. Too much wax can result in a sticky surface that attracts dust and dirt. Use a soft, clean cotton cloth or cheesecloth, first rubbing in a circular motion and then rubbing along the grain. After 30 to 60 minutes drying time, buff the wax out using another clean cotton cloth. If the luster is uneven or additional protection is required, repeat the procedure. Remember, it is preferable to apply two thin coats rather than a single thick one. Besides furniture, there are metal objects that might need polishing. You may remember the candelabrum in the commercial similar to this one. I'm sure some of you may have inherited one like it. Perhaps you live in an old house that has doorknobs like this. Maybe you've gotten some old padlocks from Gramps' tool chest. 
or you got Graham's old pewter pitcher. For pewter, I would recommend Haggerty Pewter Wash. It doesn't contain any harsh ingredients and will not scratch your pewter the way other cleaners do. Pewter is a soft metal and pits easily, so you have to be careful. It doesn't take much to restore the luster it had. Did you know that pewter was once called poor man's silver because it looked like silver when it wasn't? Some pewter is made to look old and therefore will have no luster. It will be dull and gray. Remember at the beginning I mentioned drawer pulls on your old furniture. They need to be treated differently. If you can, remove them from the drawer and clean or wash them. I do not recommend polishing because that can wear away the patina. Dusting them while in place on the drawer works just as well and maybe better. For washing your metals, try wiping lightly with a clean cotton cloth dampened in a weak solution of a mild soap, such as Orvis paste or liquid, in warm water. Wring it out well. Follow this by a thorough wiping with a cloth dampened slightly in clear water and then dry completely with another clean cotton cloth. Never use detergents. To remove dirt from your wood furniture, use water very sparingly. After dusting, softly clean with deionized or distilled water and mild soap. The best choices in soap are non-ionic detergents like Triton X100, seen here, or Orvis Pace. Mix soap and water into a weak solution, at least one part soap to 50 parts water. Clean one small area at a time, then wipe dry with a clean cloth before moving to the next area. Dip the cloth into the soap and water solution, wring it out completely, and blot it on another dry cloth to remove excess moisture. Before proceeding, test your mixture on a small, non-prominent surface area to check for adverse results. Wipe from the middle of the surface outward to avoid catching cloth on the piece's edges. Immediately wipe the surface dry with a clean cloth. If the dirt doesn't come off, scrubbing harder will not work. You need to go to a professional. If the dirt is removed, you can now move on to waxing and polishing. This program is just an overview for polishing and waxing furniture and metals that may be lurking in your house. It is not about restoration. That's another topic for later on. I hope you were able to pick up a few tips on how to take care of your heirloom furniture and pewter, things that are common in today's households. I'd like to recommend another couple of products that I use myself. One is Renaissance Wax. You've heard me talk about this in my other programs. It is a microcrystalline wax and is very good you can use it on just about anything, silver, furniture, you name it. It's one of the reasons I like it. It's highly recommended by museum professionals around the world and conservators. Another good product to use that I also use here at home is Never Dull. I use this primarily on my silver. As you can see, it is a can full of what is similar to cotton batting, like cotton balls, that is impregnated with the uh, polish itself. What I like is that you can pull off only as much as you need, which is good for getting into hard to reach places, like little curly cues on my silver bracelet here. Thank you for joining me today on this edition of preservation workshops or how to be your own curator at home. I'm Sue Taylor, Chief Curator at the New Mexico Museum of Space History. You can reach me at sue.taylor at state.nm.us. Please subscribe to the museum's YouTube channel where you will see not only other programs on preservation, but other videos that you may find of interest. Stay home, stay safe, and stay well.